So here is a pretty interesting audio device, the Antlion Audio Kimura Mic bundled with their Solo IEM. This product is intended to allow you to use your IEMs like a proper gaming headset and it also comes with this 2 to 1 jack so you can use it on your consoles for example. The IEM is like the name suggests a single dynamic driver IEM that from the outside looks like a great quality IEM. The shell is made of resin and it is shaped to fit most ears comfortably. Well most ears. Mine is kind of tortured from doing years of judo so the left one is a bit hard to achieve a proper seal for me but most of you guys don't have this problem I assume. Included in the package there is also included some additional ear tips from which I only achieved a proper seating with the foam ones which are here. But most of my time with this IEM I used my spin fit tips to get a good comfort overall. The cable of the headset is splitted from the end so you can plug the other end to your audio device of choosing and the other one is used for your mic. This introduces a small problem though since for the best audio experience it is recommended to use a DAC amp of sorts with your IEMs like a cheap dongle DAC or a full size desktop one that I have. There is no way to actually get the mic audio through your DAC if it is not built to handle audio inputs and the mic just didn't work with my regular mic interface the Audio Evo 4 so I had to get a 3.5 mm audio extender to plug the mic cable straight to my motherboard. I would love to see them include this extender cable in the packaging for users with similar setups like I have. You could also buy an additional XLR adapter from them to use the mic with your audio interface for 25 euros if you really want to use the mic with your interface however. There are two different versions of the cable available with the MMCX connector and with the 2-pin connector which I sadly received the one with the former. That means that I was not able to use the cable with any of my other IEMs since they all use the 2-pin connector. So keep that in mind if you are ordering this since you don't want a connector that doesn't suit your IEMs. The mic itself is pretty flexible and getting it to the mouth level was pretty easy. It is also recommended to use this clip that's on the cable to attach the cable to your shirt to minimize cable noise and avoid any cable tugging. Um, to test how this mic sounds like, I will read a short paragraph from a lyrical masterpiece, Candy Shop, by none other than 50 Cent. I take you to the candy shop. I let you lick the lollipop. Go ahead, girl, don't you stop. Keep going until you hit the spot. Whoa. So the mic sounds actually decent and is good for what it is intended, transferring your passive aggressive comments to your teammates. I found it kinda necessary to use some noise cancellation on the mic however, since it was pretty hissy without any, but luckily Discord handles it pretty well. The IEM is then pretty bad in terms of audio separation and tuning for FPS games in mind. There are some very nice single dynamic driver IEMs out there that are fantastic for gaming purposes, but these solo ones are just very muffled and there seems to be a very clear cut in around the ranges where footstep audio usually is in FPS games. The gunshot sounds and abilities feel very overpowering and the experience is not very pleasant if you are used to hearing details in your gaming audio. There is also a duo version of the IEMs available that has a dual dynamic driver setup which could be better but I can't be sure because I have not tested them. Uh, you can get this Kimura Solo bundle for 109 euros or the Dua one for 165 euros but what I would advise is to get the cable separately for 65 euros and then use that leftover money to get a tried and true FPS gaming suitable IEM like the Truth Ear Critical Zeros, the blue or the red one. With that setup you would be really set to annoy your teammates or whisper some sweet talking to your enemies in proximity chat in Call of Duty Warzone. So to sum it up the Solo IEM is honestly not that good when it comes to competitive FPS games or FPS games in general. You lose a lot of that separation for footstep audio and it in Apex especially, the gunshots and abilities muffle out the experience a lot. When it comes to the actual mic cable however, I think it's neat and can offer some good freedom if you want to use your IMs with the mic that is not on a mic arm or a mic stand. Yes, the audio quality of the mic is nothing impressive but it will get the job done. I would not record any videos with it but it is good for what it's intended. Shouting profanities to your teammates in foreign languages. But that is it for this video, thanks for watching and goodbye.